then I was wondering if Ben is in the corner. So that's what he's looking at. Hello. Hi,
Good. Like we eat. Luckily, and you can ask almost any primary student, they like. 
like PE, it always like PE, because yeah, it's active, it's not sitting still, and it's a lot of movement in And then later on, when they get older, that's when the part where they learn how to train, and if they get much better than that, right, or after school, they get the CCA, they got trained to train, and they need to train to compete, and then in the, the, the podium pathway, they actually train to win. And you can see that's only a very small part of students. And the discussion is now also going around that uh, students are, when they want to compete for life, that they too quickly, they focus on one sport only and they only train that sport from a very young age. And uh, I don't know if somebody watched the Tour de France, but there was a big discussion that the, the, the latest winners, uh, the, the cyclist for arts, he did not only cycle on the road, but he did mountain biking, he did other, other things. There is uh, there another rider who became second in the Tour de France. He uh, was a ski jumper before. So that in his younger days. So that proof, and more and more it's proving that, that an active start and that fundamentals are, are uh, yeah, fundamental even if on the highest stage. And what kind of skills are we then talking about? Uh, what kind of, what are, uh, or how do people become physical nature? That's when they uh, can participate, when they can actually do the, the following skills. Just standing still, right? Just keeping balance, and this is for two to six years old. Uh, just normal walking. And I had a, a great discussion uh, earlier this week, or last week, with uh, our uh, a Greek uh, kindergarten teacher, and she saw that the students already are quite a difficult after, sorry, <coughs> after uh, what, almost uh, six, seven, eight months of sitting at home, that they, 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 they struggle with walking and their balance. <laughs> and that's something that of we as PE teachers have to become. Uh, jumping, and then there are two different jumps, it's with force, and it's jumping with coordination, and you see slowly over the, the schedule is getting harder. Uh, the simple forward roll, and it starts with a, a log roll, and uh, things like that. And at the age of uh, six, that should be a well performed forward roll. And we already see that the students are struggling with that one. Now bouncing, that means they had eye coordination, and the same also for catching. And you see that uh, we did this with our students. And uh, you see that, that some skills, they should be in level uh, two and three, but they, they're stuck on level one. And uh, we're not on that 80%, and 80% stands for uh, students who could actually do it. So 80% of five-year-olds should be able to do, or should be able to stand on one leg for 10 seconds, either, uh, as well as on the right and as on the left. And they're already struggling with that. And then, of course, we have a 6 to 13 year old, and you see that the skills are getting slightly uh, more difficult. I'll give you a minute to look over uh, the slide.
definitely read this article study. Uh, it's from, uh, from the Canadian Sports for Life. And uh, I think it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's very good. And every year they change it. But you can see this is 3.0. So every year uh, they add a little more research about uh, physical literacy. And then we talk about, in this case, more about coaches, uh, about the long term development. And then you also, and they also find out that if you specialize too early, if you only stick to one sport, then you miss out at the end. And uh, what we want to accomplish with physical literacy is that any type of activity, students are not afraid of trying. If they go climbing, if they go kayaking, if they go swimming, if they go skiing, then they're not afraid of tackling it and they know their body. So they can look at a certain movement and they think, oh, okay, this is how I do this, and they don't struggle. If it's the first time they step into a kayak, they're not, they have a sense of balance and they don't fall out and they be in the water all the time. And you can see that as well as for skateboarding, and uh, yeah, any type of sport, they're not afraid, they have the confidence of yeah, participating and, and, and are not uh, afraid of starting something new. I think that's the basic uh, yeah, of physical literacy, that's something you want to reach with uh, the students. Can you share like that checklist of what students should be able to do by what age? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this is already that uh, uh, Okay. seven skills. Uh, I think they were the ones on the checklist, yeah? Um, so it's from a, a Mongolian participant. They're just wondering if those seven skills, are they something that's mandatory from kind of your standards? Is it something that the, the sports for life, sport for life dictates? Or is it just something that you personally do? Uh, because she's saying like the Mongolian government says there are five skills that must uh, must be tested or must be kind of tracked. So just kind of if you could give a little bit of background on where where the seven skills come from, I guess. Oh, yeah. So these are yeah, are basic, uh, just four skills. I I find it very nice. I didn't know that the Mongolian government has uh, five skills. I'm very curious which skills uh, those five are. Uh, what, what are the five? Yeah. So. Flexibility. Flexibility. Uh, endurance. Endurance. Yeah. Some more competitiveness. Competitiveness. Ability. Agility. Agility. Agility is this. That's like the ABC component. And yeah, speed. So, so speed is one of them. So and force. Force. Uh, it seems more like these are kind of uh, components rather than skills to be learned. I think yeah. Yeah, because with, if you 
wants to, if you want to be agile, you need to be able to you know, quickly stop. You need to have balance. I think there's using those components within to get these skills. Just using the ABC to achieve values and coordination to work towards being able to execute that skill. These skills are all based on the balance. It would be, yeah. This, uh, no, agility, balance, coordination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we have a certain, I think, uh, standard that kind of supports kids to have an uh, injury. It does sound more like a, like a, a fitness test than that. Can I ask, and is, did you say that competitive was one of the five aspects? Was competitive? 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 So we're just going to get translated for speed. Okay. Not, not, not competitive. So no, not competitiveness. So it's a translation. Yeah, for uh, force. Force, balancing. This word is endurance for sure. This word is ability to do it like chess. Do they test them? Check the the rank. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's more, for example, running kind of fitness test style um, as opposed to maybe like uh, it makes sense skills. Because you've, you've got skill related components and health related, and the skill related components like your ABC are going to link up to executing these skills. Mm -hmm. So it does make sense. Just a question is where are these seven skills are from? With, uh, with us teachers, or I think there's a difference between coaches and teachers. We, as if you're a PE really teacher, uh, the competitiveness is not so important. It's not we really want to instill in students because there may be only one or two percent of all the students you have who actually end up in competitive sports. But it is that it's our our yeah, our duty that everybody who's in your class will enjoy. Uh, being physical active, and they can be in any way they, they see fit. Yes, there are, especially boys when they're 30, and they will be very competitive. And a lot of times you don't have to stimulate that. You just, uh, what you need to yeah, pull the others who are, uh, who yeah, don't, from, from nature, uh, I think that the students want to move, right? The kids want to run. And uh, a lot of times we say, no, don't run, don't do this. Yeah, yeah. No, that was perfect. Uh, thank you, Ben. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.
I think so, yeah. She's getting the out of the chair here, so uh, thank you so much. All right, sounds good. Thank you,